Just walk into a shop and buy a guitar, which you can do now if yeah. you know what you're looking for. Yeah, yeah. If you, you don't let the if you don't let the guys in the shop make it sound so really like good through loads of shit, and then you take it on stage and you can't hear it <laughs> next to the drummer, then you're all right. That's how I feel about mm. it. But you have to, uh, you, know, you just get a feel off a guitar. What do you what what speaks to you in a guitar then? Well, you know, I always try it like that. Yeah. yeah, if it rings, you know what I mean. You always yeah. try it like that and. See, that's got to stand with that even. Yeah. Yeah. That's very important, I think, yeah. before you even. See, it's got it there. That's the same way yeah. it's plugged in and out. And in tune, maybe. <laughs> What would make you say, oh, I'm going to use a 335 on this, not the Les Paul? Well, it was the warmth of the song, you know. So again, <clears throat> certain guitars will stand out in my mind for certain parts. And this, uh, this song was a very warm sounding song, and I just thought, this, this, this guitar is a very old fashioned sound. If you could put it even on the bass pickup. Oh, it's a beautiful guitar, yeah. yeah. I've had it for oh, about eight or nine years. Now. What, what age is that? 61 or 63? 63. 63, sorry. Yeah, Sound. Is that both pickups on? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Francis Rossi can do that now. <laughs> Phase thing. How do you set the the uh, tone controls? Do you usually? Oh, they're all up full. Yeah. Are they?
Obrigado. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you.